Juliana Miller, Miller claimed uh, first round knockout. I think that's what I heard. <laughs> she said, <laughs> Submission, maybe. We'll see. She she said, Alex is going to give me the head kick knockout I've been dying for the whole night. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Our final fight of the evening is brought to you by Mario's Plumbing and Remodeling. Scheduled for three two minute rounds at a catch weight of 130 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the Boardwalk Recovery Center Blue Corner. Making his MMA debut, he stands at five feet three inches tall and weighed in officially at 125.6 pounds. He trains with Paragon Jiu-Jitsu from Santa Barbara, California, Brendan Lascano. <laughs> and his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the wolf for Wadlow Red Corner, making his MMA debut. He stands at five feet, seven inches tall and weighed in officially at 130 pounds, representing 10th Planet San Diego and Team Hurricane Awesome from San Diego, California, Helic Martinez. Your referee in charge of the action, Carlos Eduardo. Both fighters have just been sitting in the back the whole night looking to throw down in front of their family and friends. So this is their moment. I'm really excited for this one. We'll see, see who can pull it out. Both fighters for debuters, very composed, working Absol angles, fainting. Absolutely, I mean, if you see the distance work going on here. I mean, I can only assume that Alex getting the opportunity to help you with his camps has given him a wealth of knowledge and opportunities to grow as a fighter. I mean, you, you, especially the guys that you're training with not, will bring you know a lot of confidence in your game when it time, comes time to compete. Ooh, nice shot. See if he can finish it. Brennan looking to settle and keep the position. Brennan doing a really good job of settling his weight to start to land that ground and pound. Yeah, keeping his back flat on the ground. Oh. Alex, Alex is starting. doing a great job at letting go of that guard so that way he can start to get up and looking for those uh, up kicks. Brennan looks emotionless on top. Nice up kick by Alec. And the composure of Brandon is just. Brennan trying to flatten Alex out. Alex is trying to. He's looking for that Darcy Ooh, and he locked darts. it up, but there's only eight seconds left. Seconds. See, Ballot can survive. That's really tight, Ooh, ladies and saved gentlemen. Saved by the bell on that one. Saved by the bell. Wow, and great, great takedown and, and wrestling and just top pressure by Brandon. I mean, I mean, he really was doing a pretty good job of flattening uh, Alex out and keeping his back on the ground. A reminder, ladies and gentlemen, after this fight, we will be handing out the knockout of the night, submission of the night, and fight of the night trophies. Stick around, don't forget, come into the cage and take a picture with all of the epic fighting staff. It'll be interesting to see what kind of uh, tactics Alice employs to, uh, to get this next round. Uh, Brandon definitely won the last one, especially with the uh, top pressure. But uh, I mean, this fight is still really up for grabs. You push the pressure, push him back. 
Nice right hand Ooh, by Alec. Nice shot, good sprawl. Let's see if Brandon can finish. He keeps trying to turn the corner. Ooh, that. Amazing wrestling coming out of Brandon. Let's see if that 10 point at guard can come. Ooh, we already seen. Well, thing though is, uh, you know, Brandon coming out of Paragon, Santa Barbara means he's got some great jits as well. Mm. Big right hand right behind the ear. Ooh, some nice. of those up okay. kicks are okay, looking Alec. dangerous. Oh, looking for his own takedown, but he's got to watch Ooh. this choke. This is in deep. This is in very, very, very deep. Ooh, and, oh. and he got the finish. And Brandon with the highlight reel sub. Nice performance by this guy. I mean, he once he realized that grappling was his key to victory, he really stuck on it. I mean, the way that he changed angles on the uh, on the takedowns is really what, because, you know, Alex had a good sprawl off the gate, but he kept turning the corner, and, and that's eventually what, what got him to uh, finish the takedown. Really goes to show the importance of wrestling for mixed martial arts and really what it can do to you. Do for your game to be able to get the fight to the the ground and then control it while you're down there. Yeah, I mean, I, I forget exactly what the statistics were, but I mean, essentially, the large majority of UFC champs are are wrestlers. You know, I mean, obviously, they are spread around the other martial arts as well. But for those guys that can secure takedowns, I mean, they essentially can be in top position, inflicting pain, while the person on bottom is is forced to try to stand up. And that was just such a deep guillotine. Yeah, and both these guys are really young men, so it's a, it's not as if it's not as if they don't have a ton of fights ahead of them so, if they so so choose. So, uh, you know, hats off to all of them. What a great epic card! Both these guys fought the hard. The punishment ends. 49 seconds in, into the second round. Your winner by way of tap out due to a guillotine out of the blue corner, Brendan Lascano. Last fight of the night, beautiful fight. Thoughts on your performance? Uh, my goal was out to go out there and get the finish. That was pretty much it. Don't take any damage. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when can we see you fight next? You're a very fun fighter, very elusive in the cage. You want to fight on the next Epic card? You want to talk to Harvey about fighting next month? Uh, how active do you want to be? Every two months. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll see you Epic 51, 11-11. All right, everybody, give it up for your final night, of, final fight of the night. Thank you all for coming all right, out for the biggest fight fighting. card in epic fighting history, epic 50.